Hello everyone, it's Davide here and welcome back to Learning Finance. In today's video guys, I want to bring you a couple of updates on Alibaba stock which we have had a couple of good news that came out in the last 24 hours and then uh, I want to also uh, take a look at the graph okay the, the chart of Alibaba because the price today has done something uh, very interesting so we are gonna take a look at that as well as always the only thing I ask you guys is please leave me another like it's very very important uh, you help me to reach more people and I thank you for it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new updates let's begin all right guys so uh the first important thing uh, which is this one uh this is from uh, bloomberg uh, released uh, basically today uh, january 14th the us uh, decides against investing ban on alibaba tencent and baidu us officials decide against uh, banning american investment in alibaba group uh, tencent holdings with a person familiar with the discussion uh, removing a cloud of uncertainty over Asia's uh, two biggest corporations. The Treasury Department blocked a Pentagon effort to add the two internet firms uh, on grounds. Uh, they added the military, uh, the person said, asking not to be identified discussing private talks. Officials also uh, debated blocking search leader Baidu, uh, but uh, they dropped the plan as well, okay, on that one. It's obviously a positive news uh, for Alibaba as well. I was uh, expecting it, uh, as I told you in the previous video that I shared a look at these two catalysts for Alibaba. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, go to check it out if you haven't already. For the simple reason that uh, this ban, in my opinion, was exaggerated for Tencent and Alibaba. And as I told you, I uh, with the Biden administration, the new Biden administration, I really expect uh, a different approach, okay, with China. So I don't expect a very tough and hard approach. Obviously, I, I don't even expect that all the tensions will go away because uh, you have the first and the second economies uh, in the world. And obviously, a little bit of tensions is absolutely normal. But I expect a more uh, relaxed environment okay with the Biden administration and blocking the two biggest Chinese talks uh, banning them from the US tax exchange it would have been dramatic for a lot of reasons the second news uh, this is from today as well January 14th uh, Alibaba launches electric sedan in partnership with uh, China's largest automaker so yeah even Alibaba is joining the EV commerce which basically it looks like that everyone wants to be part of the EV market in China okay all the companies and what I like about Alibaba is that they have the e-commerce, but they always try to find uh, different ways, different stuff, uh, different businesses, okay? So to, to invest and try to grow their empire. So this is something that I really appreciate about uh, a stock like Baba, which is huge, but it continues to develop and do new stuff. This obviously, uh, I'm talking about in the Chinese market, okay? So not... Tesla but all the Chinese EV companies when you see that everyone is joining the Chinese electric vehicles market well you understand that the competition is becoming incredible okay so even investing in you know in smaller one and stuff like that well I don't know if long term it will play because when the competition is getting higher and higher and higher it is very difficult to stand out actually okay so to have a moat compared with your competitors uh, so especially when you have huge holdings uh, that they are actually joining the market so that they have money to to throw away and to develop new stuff and to lower prices especially so anyway it is interesting for Alibaba uh, as we can see here they launched uh, an electric sedan uh, with basically this uh, state-owned Saic motor which is the, they say the China's largest car company 
Uh, this is reported by Nikki Asia on Thursday. What happened basically? Uh, the vehicle capable of wireless charging uh, was launched under a new brand, which is called AM. Uh, the acronym stands for Intelligence in Motion, according to uh, Nikki Asia. The car was jointly, so it is a joint venture between Alibaba, SAAC, uh, and Shanghai Zhangjiang High Tech uh, Park Development, the investment arm of Shanghai's local government. The sedan is powered by a new solid-state battery from a contemporary Amperex technology, uh, which also works with Tesla. Uh, and it also uses chips made by NVIDIA Corporation, okay, so another customers for NVIDIA. I am will reportedly begin uh, taking orders from the vehicle in April 2021, okay, just in three months at the annual Shanghai Auto Show. The second SUV, because they are planning also to add uh, an SUV uh, together with the sedan, will be uh, delivered to customers in 2022. Obviously, this is a new uh, piece of business for Alibaba so uh, very interesting indeed going on and uh, here obviously as I just said we see that uh, Alibaba is not the only big company to, to join the EV we have also uh, this one uh, Taiwan's Hon Hai precision industry uh, better known as Foxconn is steaming up with the Chinese EV startup to produce its first vehicles, the M Byte, by the first quarter of 2022. Meanwhile, Foscon has also signed a competitive agreement with Geely Automobile Holdings uh, to set up a joint venture to provide uh, OEM production and consulting services to global automakers. Even Baidu said it would form an EV company and build a strategic partnership with Geely. Uh, so basically, this EV market in China is literally going crazy and everyone, everyone wants a little piece of the cake. Okay, so uh, Alibaba joined that cake too. Obviously, they do a lot of stuff. So the EV is just a little piece added uh, to the huge business that they have. And yeah, that's a great one. So here we have, as promised, uh, let's take a look at what the price has done. Now, these are exactly the same graph of my previous videos. I don't know if you remember, uh, probably you have already seen it. In the drop, I told you that I was expecting a, a huge support over there, okay? Around the 200 area. And this one was my, let's call it extreme price target. And that is exactly what has happened because the price bounced back from the $211 per share back quite strongly and went up against uh, of this level, this green level. I don't know if you remember it. It is a level that I have drawn uh, in the previous video. Basically, it is a mix of uh, one is the 0.61 of Fibonacci retracement start starting from here uh, and the second one is uh, what was before a very strong resistance that basically uh, stopped the price of Alibaba for at least starting from January 2020 over there and then uh, June 2020 over there so uh, we came up to this level and then kind of holding it okay forming a, a low and then a higher low and now uh, I told you that we were in this downtrend going on basically since the 27th of October when Ant Group has been cancelled. And today, as we can see from here, we have uh, broken that uh, downtrend line. Okay, so uh, it is very important to see that. You see that we have tried yesterday but we basically came here and the market has been rejected and now today we are above that level and where we are inside the green rectangular that i have shown you in previous videos now it is very important first of all uh, to confirm so the market has to close uh, around this price it would be perfect uh, as we can see the market just pulled it back a little bit but touched the 240 uh, level so exactly on the black line and then bounced back as of now okay so uh, it is important to confirm this close then probably uh, to stay a little bit here okay so in the next couple of days 
a little bit of consolidations and confirmation between the 240 area and the next uh, target so the next level to to break it's 252 which has been previously used by the market as a support uh, multiple times okay so we can see here and here also middle of December as well so obviously this black line here 252 area will be uh, now a resistance and the price uh, should break it okay we don't know when but uh, to confirm uh, a change in a trend we have to reach at least above 252 okay so in the 260 area we can see that for the first time since the 27th of October since uh, sorry the first days of November the price is actually above uh, both the moving averages okay so above the 11 and 22 periods moving averages and this is another confirmation that probably this uh, downtrend move is probably very likely finished over there okay so we are gonna uh, take a look at that first thing confirmation of this close today very important and then we will see what is gonna happen uh, the in terms of fundamental analysis my first target is around 330 okay so 330 dollars per share and so we have a lot of uh, road to cover so this is the end of the video guys uh, I really hope you find it interesting it was a quick update I hope you enjoy it uh, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel leave me a comment below actually tell me what do you think about this uh, new business partnership of alibaba and as always guys have a wonderful day